Pickle me this. Where do these pickles come from? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And happy spring break! Woo! That's right, today's the start of our spring break, which means episodes will be dropping exactly like they're hot oh. on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But don't worry, to make up for it, we're gonna make sure every spring break episode is extra juicy. Oh, speaking of extra juicy, you know what's real juicy? Pickles. Oh. You like a good pickled thing. Oh yeah, I do. You okra, egg, sausage, the sport of tennis. <laughs> but are you ready for some international pickles? It's time for Where in the World Do These International Pickle Dishes Come From? All right, boys, today you're going to be trying different pickled dishes from around the world and throwing a dart at the country you think they came from. Mm -hmm. Chase, the pickled cartographer, oh, look measure at how him. far you are from the correct answer. Look at it. You can't even see his midriff anymore. It's yeah. all pickled up. Midriff? Midriff. I feel like this I did, is a weird uh, thing for fans. Like, some people want you to button up more. So I'm yeah. completely unbuttoned and I'm no. making them mad. But, like, there's no midriff. So, yeah, yeah you yeah. get the whole cucumber today. I really, oh. I really enjoyed um, the way that you danced to the intro music <laughs> in that costume, though. Yeah. Do you want to give a little, that. just a, what what you what you got. Yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. I, okay. Yeah. That's a little bit more performery than you were, but okay. He'll be at a children's Sorry. birthday party later. <laughs> sure. Whoever has the lowest score at the end gets to lead Hide the Pickle in Good Mythical More. Rhett, last time we played, you lost again. Yeah, So you get twice. the advantage in this Two game. Around. I'm not gonna reveal what it is until you're ready to use it. And Link, you're on a winning streak, buddy. Two in a row. Don't use that tone. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm just being really supportive. In fact, you know what? We have a bunch of celebrations planned for you. L look at this. Link, Link. You are a hero. Two game win streak is better than zero. Yay, yay, Link. Woo! That's wonderful. Now that tone. You can use every day. <laughs> Who, hungry? Nope, not anymore. <laughs> so this is a fish wrapped around what appears to be a, I guess a pickle. And there's- A little gherkin. What, maybe is mustard? Yeah, it's like a, a spicy mayo, I mean mustard. Is that a dried fish that's been reconstituted in pickle brine? Yeah, it's not bad actually. I, don't, I think I mean, it's once just you a, get uh, used to the fishiness. I don't know if it was ever dried because I think it would. I think the consistency would be different. Mm. A pickle. I think it's just a fish that's been pickled. It's a pickled fish. And anything pickled, there, it's kind of like it's such a different lane, you know, of food. It's almost like a pickle a, lane, a palate cleanser type thing. It's kind of like um, what's that green stuff that you eat with sushi? That stuff, woo, that stuff. Woo. You're talking about ginger, but you're, you're saying green, but I think you're talking about. No, the the paste. Wasabi, that's not. Wasabi. But the that, the actual palate cleanser is pickled ginger in sushi, which is weird that you said it was wasabi. Oh, what's the wasabi? It's just a, it's just a spice. It's oh, just really? A, it's an accompaniment. Well, I, I You, you only, put it on the sushi. Oh, I don't do that. I The pickled ginger is not to put on the sushi, it's to cleanse the palate between courses of sushi. Oh. Wait, 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 I wait. Eat you're the paste gonna say, okay, yeah, what do you do? On its own. What? Just, just to like give me a boost in the middle of my dining experience. I was doing it the other night and Christy was like, stop doing that. Yeah, because she understands how it's stop. supposed to be done. You can do whatever you want to though. All she told me was stop doing that. And you know what I did? I complied. All right, Link, because you've won not only uh, two times in a row, but also last time, <laughs> you get to go first. I am gonna go for I mean, I'm I'm tempted to go with Iceland because you know some sort of pickled herring or pickled wrapped in herring or whatever that is, and I'm gonna stick with my guns. Iceland. Oh yes! yes! <gasps> did I? Did you, I? You, you did. You hit it. Did I? Yes, you, you did. It. You don't even need to walk over there. I no, feel like I David Hill should come out. I mean, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I feel like this is the moment for David Hill. What is at it at this point? It, yes, it hit link, the white. Link, 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 oh, link, 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 
Link, yeah. Link, 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 right. Link. Yeah, yeah. Either way, either way, we get it. It's an L. Hey, pace yourself, man, because that's gonna you're gonna need to keep doing that. <laughs> uh, man, Link, that was incredible. It was incredible. You may be right. Well, I'm, I'm four and a half feet from the map. Uh, you may be right. I always uh, have been. Pickled fish, I'm assuming, is really big in Iceland. Uh, the only thing that's sending me from Iceland to Germany is the mustard, uh, because that's like a that's a German mustard, man. That's that's like the kind of mustard you put on a sausage. And you've already done as well as you can do it to hit Iceland. So now I've got to try to hit Germany. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, I like where this is going. You just had roll mops, a dish consisting of pickled herring fillets wrapped around ingredients such as gherkins, onion rings, or green olives, served cold with or without bread. This is a popular pickled snack found in Germany. No! <laughs> hey, but that was impressive. It was impressive. You hit Iceland. All right, Link. You did hit Iceland, which is a big deal, but you had 10, <laughs> and Rhett, you had five. Okay, big deal, you get it? He's a pickle. Well, look at this, man. We've got pickled citrus. Lemon? Is it, is it a lemon? It could have been a lemon. I think oh, yeah. a, it's a pickled lemon. lemon it's a pickled lemon. And can you bite the rye and everything? Yep, yep. Go! Oh, wow! <laughs> It, it, oh, good gosh! Man, that is so intense. That is so intense. It gets more intense. It, everything that lemon brings, <laughs> and, and more. It, this definitely has like the lemon left outside sort of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like a lemon that got dropped behind the couch. And then, like you're looking for the like, like it rotted, but you're because looking for like a phone charger in, or something. <laughs> it landed in a a pool of this stuff. Now you're going first. I'm just getting out. Wait. Oh, God. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> like everything in here just is seizing mm. up from the sourness. Wow. I mean, this is such an intense flavor. I have nothing to go on here. Um, is this the kind of thing that when you get when you finally get lemons in Iceland? You're like, we gotta hold on to these because they're definitely not from around here and we gotta pickle them so they'll stay forever good. Like, mm. is it that kind of thing? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or is it just, this is a place that likes really intense flavors and will do something like pickle citrus like the Philippines. I never see Fiji on the map. I think I'm gonna go with my instinct about just flavor, daring flavor and go Philippines, but not feeling great about this whatsoever. Woo, that's a good shot. I am thinking Morocco. Like what you were saying about Iceland, like it's it's cold up there. They don't have to, I don't think they have to pickle as much. They might salt some stuff. I, don't, I was just thinking they probably don't have lemon trees. Like the taking of fruit and then doing something unexpected with it feels very Moroccan. To yeah, me. I've always thought that. Unexpected things with fruit is the first thing that I think when I think of a Morocco. Oh, you might be right, man. A little bit to the west of Morocco. This is, whatever. This is going to be a big swing in the way. Atlantic Ocean. I know things. You just had preserved lemons. Initially, lemons were preserved in this country to be used after lemon season had ended. Now, this ingredient is an integral part of this country's cuisine and a year-round staple. While the pulp of the lemon is used to flavor soups, the rind is used as a condiment in Morocco. Oh, dang, Link. I'm impressed, man. This I'm street, feeling good. This street David may be Hill. continuing. Uh, hang out with me, man. Yeah. Link, Link, Link. L I N K Link saves the day. Woo! That's wonderful. That's great. How long has he had that shirt? <laughs> oh, he wore it his first day. <laughs> That's why I hired Don't you him. remember? You're hired. He wore it to the interview. <laughs> yeah, Rhett, you had 43. And Link, we should get ready the sparkling brine because you had seven. Nice. Sparkling brine. Soup. Some sort of soup. In this soup, there is a there's a big chunk of 
This is just like a whole fish. Uh, yeah. No, okay. this, hold on. What is, that's not. It's too mushy to be a fish. And there's onions and. That's not fish. It's very fatty and cattle-like. Hmm. I think it might be pork. Yeah, it's porky. Yeah, not cattle-y. It's it not... could be chicken. No, that's pork, dude. It's totally pork. And then there's like onions and cucumbers. Is the whole thing in a pickle brine? I think it's chicken, man. It definitely feels too pork. fatty for chicken. Or it's like a pheasant? What is it? it, it maybe it's a bird. I think it's a bird. Uh, you're well in the lead, Link. <coughs> so you uh, go first. Oh, yeah. What am I gonna do? I mean, Woo! I can. Go Let's go, Link. Go Let's Link. go. I mean, Let's go. Well, does hold he, on, does hold he on. Really hold on, guys. Does what? he really need it now? I mean, what? We're encouraging you. We're encouraging you for yeah. your throw. Two wing strike. Woo! 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 Link! Woo! Link! 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 I mean, they got a point. Link. Thank you, guys. Um, <laughs> Where's David? We're, we're here. We're here for we're sport. Here. We're for sport. We're Team Link. What? Woo! What? I, I think David David is probably thinking about his next cheer. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There yeah. we go. I, yeah. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Link. Woo! Wait for you. Go Link. 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 Okay. Link, okay. Link, I, Link, I, Link, I, Link. Okay. I need. I need. I need a silent. Yeah. yeah. Encouragement. Give the man a space. I've noticed that I can get a two for one with Antigua and Barbuda or Barbuda. I think it's Barbuda. I don't think that's the answer though. Where's the place where you can't tell the pork from the chicken? I'm torn between South Africa and Philippines. Crap, I have no clue. I, I, gotta, I gotta really play defensive. Uh, I can't go all the way to Philippines. I don't think it's India. I'm gonna split the map and play the board. Um, okay. Oop, that was higher than I wanted to go, but basically right in the middle of the map. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Um, you really get in a moment. Get a shirt, Bo, with my name on it. <laughs> um, okay, I, I'm in the hole here, and I don't have a lot to go on. I, I have some advantage, right? I, I would I would like to uh, deploy my advantage. You sure? I just I want to because you only keep to use it once. I just that's all I wanted to make sure. I just want to make sure. <laughs> I would, yes. Okay. I, I need to make up some ground. If I don't make up some ground on this round, I, there's no way. There's no way okay, to go back. So, so your advantage is we're going to give you this encyclopedia. And you, you can learn so many things in this. And, uh, and, and we're going to oh. give you 30 seconds. You can look up whatever you want. The okay? Usborne Geography Encyclopedia. Hold on. Yeah. It's Am I going to go to the soup section? I don't know. <laughs> no, Link, No. Thank you. Sorry. Is there a hidden prize in there? Your time starts. You ready? Yeah. Now. Let's just see if I can get lucky. Russia. Okay. Not on the map. Uh. Brazil. Ha! That's all I need. I randomly opened to Brazil the second time. What are the chances? I'm going for Brazil. Let fate lead you. I'd say the chances are pretty low. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't gonna guess Brazil, but I was. I, I was. Have to uh, now. Ooh, uh, and, and you even, missed it. Didn't even hit the daggum country. Okay. You just had sauce, a light, clear soup served cold and traditionally made with pickled pig's feet, hot peppers, lime, onion, garlic, and other seasonings found all over the Caribbean, including. Antigua and Barbuda. Oh, oh, so it was pig's feet. Dang, if I had gone a little bit high to my Brazil guess. <laughs> this is a fun episode. I'm having a pickle ball. Uh, all right, Link, you had 28, Rhett, 17. All right, and if anybody wants to know what weather is, here's a nice page to read. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> nice shirt, man. Check it out. From what I can tell, it is a GMM logo, but in flowers. You know what? Uh, and been, it's in puff paint. I've been <laughs> complimented so many times today, just walking out here. It's a fun little shirt. KG said, nice shirt. Michaela said, nice shirt. Nice shirt. You know, now Pickle Boy over there said, nice shirt. I mean. Mythical.com. People like this. Get you that nice shirt. Puffy. Whatever size you want. 
pretty festive. Look at this pickle ball. We got fruit salad. Not pickle jar is what I meant to say. Okay, so there's um, a fidge. An apple. Uh, Kiwi. A mandarin. Is that called a mandarin? Cherries. Mm-hmm. It's just pickle fruit, y'all. But the types of fruit, I think, should give us some sort of a clue. Apples. That's an apple. I've never had a pickled apple before, have you? Yeah. You should well, try I, it. Yeah, a second ago I had one. Oh. I'll have it again. All of that's good. It's like the first thing I ate. Mm -hmm. Still in the lead? By quite a bit. I'm gonna use my lucky dart. All my advantages are over? For sure it's a lose, friend. Hmm. Figs are the thing that really stand out, but kiwis and figs don't cohabitate, do they? It's a sin if they do. Um, figs are taking me to Italy, even though they could, of course they're everywhere now, in Newtons. Figs have gotten out. <laughs> figs have been gotten around. I've Cherries. noticed that about them. I don't know where kiwis come from originally, but I don't know, this could be India? I think I have to stick with Italy. Doesn't that seem too obvious, though? Mm, man, I'm only 20 centimeters in the lead, so I can't That's a just pretty be a good chump. lead. But I, 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 good lead. I, mean, I, I'm just really thinking Italy. Yeah, I got to stick with that. Oh, that's low. That's low, 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 low. Are you agreeing with me? What are you thinking? Figs. Uh, first of all, this is hard. I mean, these the, the pickled the pickled stuff is hard uh, because there's a pickle sort of. Pickle leveling of the field. Do you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like everything gets mushed down, and like it, a like a, on a trash compactor. And again, the only in, like intuitive clue that I've had thus far has been the mustard tasted like something you put on a bratwurst. Yeah, we remember you got that, that one sense. right. But nothing else is presented like that. You said figs take you to Italy. Figs take me to India. Well, they're everywhere. And they have gotten out though. They have gotten out. But because for some reason, and I don't know if it I mean makes I have figs sense, growing in my yard. Uh, I've always thought it was a very Indian yard that you had. Thank you. Golly, Ooh. I can't throw yeah, today. High. You're high. Your high now was low. Don't feel bad about it. You just had Mostarda di Frutta. Ooh. Oh, candied that's not fruit that's be been Indian. pickled in lemon juice and mustard. That's These Brazil. sweet and sour fruits are usually served alongside meats and cheeses in Italy. Yes! Oh, Look dang at me. it! I've done it again! Link, you're on a streak, man. Yeah, Link, relish this feeling. You've got 10, Rhett, 26. Dang. I, and I don't think Fig and Italy, but I think more that region. Well, Middle East is what I was thinking, but that's not an option. Close enough. And finally, we have a stack slaw. of... Yeah, it does look just like slaw. Pickled Good. slaw. Cause you, you know, South Carolina slaw is kind of pickly. Yeah. Woo! I didn't tell you it was spicy. <laughs> didn't tell you it was spicy. Not, I didn't even get the spice at first. I just got, just, just blasted with vinegar. But that's a spicy vinegar. Ow! Woo! Reminder, this is the mystery round. So the country's not on this. the map. I mean, the country's on the map, but it's not labeled. All right, you know Link, you go first, and it's yours to lose, brother. Uh huh. Happy two street to you. Happy two street to you. Happy two street, dear Link. <laughs> Happy two street to you. Anymore, maybe. I don't thank remember, you guys. I don't remember getting any of this. Thank you guys, and that's that's. Yeah, we thank got your you names really. that. Yeah, yeah, you're really committing to it yeah. now. We adapted. Not to this level, but we have to we're, improvise. We're getting close. Yeah. Um, can I have a little of your cake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm in a good, generous mood. Is it pickled? It's not pickled. It's just good. Huh. So it is um, <laughs> some sort of slaw pieces. Some oh, yeah. sort of. You guys can leave now. Pepper strips. <laughs> I guess that's just lettuce. Who made the decision to leave? I onions. 
Whose face did it register on? <laughs> and a whole bunch of t- coriander. The cake's a little dry. And vinegar. At least it's not mine. <laughs> Man, this could be. This could be anywhere. This could be anywhere. It's so beautiful. This yeah, but you have a 36 centimeter lead. So I really which is can't. Pretty I, hard to lose. I cannot. It would be dumb for me to go for an extreme part of the map. And since I have no freaking clue where this is, I mean, again, this this could this could be on a, a South Carolinian's table. So I'm I'm saying this is South Carolina. But I'm gonna throw the dart <laughs> at um, uh, whatever that whatever those countries just a little bit to the to the west of India are. Yep, those countries. That region. Oh, dang it. It went to the left, but right in the middle of the board. Oh, I can't, I can't, re- can't complain. I don't think I can win now. I was really hoping you would actually go to the right. Because my clue here, first of all, you're totally right that this could be on a, like a southern table and it would go on collards. It's kind of like chow chow. Yeah. But not, I, I like it. A lot. Not prepared like this. My giveaway for my guess is the habanero. Oh, that orange little stripe. Which every time I have habanero in a hot sauce, it's like a Belize. It's very big. They're big in, I mean, they're big in South America in general. They're big in Mexico and Central America. Do you Belize in love? Uh, (laughs) I don't know where Belize is exactly. I think I know. I think it's like, I think it's that first big country that you hit when you get down to South America. Hey, if it's Belize and I hit Belize, can I Belize win? Yes. Three criteria? Yeah. Because I know I'm not going to, I can't make up 36. But I get two advantages next time. What? You've already got a three streak going. You got cheerleaders. You got cake. You're not in a position to negotiate. So that's a yes. If I win, yes. I'll give you the two advantages next time. No. Good well, shot. I hit, well, I hit Central America. Panama. That actually might be Belize. No, it's not. No. Belize is all the way in South. South America. You just had picklies. This spicy batch of pickled cabbage, carrot, and chili is traditionally served with rich meats and fried foods. Its bright, fiery tang makes it a great sidekick for lightly seasoned dishes in Haiti. 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 Shout out to Wyclef Jean. <laughs> Vlasic. I got pretty close to Haiti. By accident. I think you did, didn't you? Yeah, uh, Link, you had 27. Ooh. Rhett, you had four. Dang, man! Good, Good luck, man. But that oh. didn't do it, did it? That it did do not it. It did do not it. Do it. It got close, but not. It didn't pull it off. Three in a row, all right. Woo-wee. You gonna get them cheerleaders next time? When do I get cheerleaders? <laughs> what does it take for me to get cheerleaders? If you need to cut it back down to just one, uh, you know who my pick is. No offense. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know, you know I'm coming in, David. I just I included my increased my link for three, it. link for three, link for three, link for three. Yay, yay, yay! Champion. You know what, I'm begging to be cheered for now. You know what time it is. Oh hi! I didn't see you there. My name is Nevin Hewitt from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. And if you'll follow me, I just made some pickled brown chicken. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, that stuff's good. And listen, I think you did see us there. <laughs> yeah, he did see Click us. Click the top link to watch us rank pickle juices with Justine from Sport and Good Mythical More. And if I know where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Feel as fresh as a daisy when you shop the new GMM Floral Flame Tea. Available now at mythical.com.